Hello, YouTubers. My name is Jack Ryan. So I'm coming at you live from uh, my old setup today. This is my old computer. But yeah, um, today we are doing a thing that I've actually already done. Only this is a remake. Um, yeah. So this is going to be a unboxing, setup, and review of my Elgato HD60 capture card. I will be showing you it. Only the reason why I'm redoing it is first of all because I've gotten more equipment since then. Second of all. Uh, the camera that I used back at that old one was really low quality, and I forgot to cover some of the stuff in it. So yeah, I've got all the stuff here. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna get right into it. So let's see what's on the box right here. As you can see, it's got the Elgato symbol. It says Elgato right here. Uh, it, here's the HD60, the actual capture card itself. Game capture HD60, next generation gameplay and sharing. And yeah, as you can see on the top, it says Elgato HD60, or Elgato Gaming, and then on the side it says Elgato HD60. On the side it has, on this side it has a picture of uh, the actual Elgato itself. On the bottom it has some boring information. So yeah, um, right here, this is, this is the, I got this for if I ever bought a next generation console, uh, but I happen to use this for my PlayStation 3. I do not have a next generation console, but yeah, um, we're gonna start off right here. This says next generation quality, stunning 1080p quality with 60 frames per second, so it is fully capable of recording at 1080p with 60 frames per second. Um, advanced H, uh, H264 hardware encoding, uh, lag free HDMI pass through to the TV, um, and the next generation control, unlimited capture right to your PC or Mac, enable flashback recording retroactively, uh, immediate access to the built-in editor, Hang on, let me go ahead and zoom in for you guys, immediate access to the built-in editor, uh, built-in streaming to Twitch and YouTube, uh, yeah, so, the camera's a bit out of focus, but anyway, yeah, and then stream command, add webcam overlays, built-in live commentary feature, and then technical specifications, yeah, uh, you must have, there's an output, the, the technical, you must have a uh, Windows 2.0, uh, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, which I do in fact have uh, uh, a PlayStation 4, uh, or a PlayStation 3, and I'm, I'm thinking that at the end of this video I will show you how I, uh, how I actually record it with this, because it requires a bit of a different setup, and you're going to have to spend some extra money, it says analog in, it has HDMI pass through, um, 1080p, 10, 1080p 60, 1080p 30, 1080i, 720, 720p 60, uh, and then 720p 30, 576p, 576i, and 480p, which is what I record at because my computer is crap at what it does. But yeah, and then uh, uh, 112 by 75 by uh, 19. <laughs> <laughs> millimeters. <laughs> oh my god, millimeters. Uh, and then, yeah. System requirements. I'm just going through all this boring stuff. But yeah, uh, system requirement. You must have at least a Windows X. You have, must have at least a Windows 7 um, SP1 or later. Uh, Mac OS and then second generation Intel Core i5 processor. Um, we have stream command, second generation 4GB RAM. And then, as you can see, it can use Mac, Windows 8, which I currently have, HDMI, Twitch, I don't stream to Twitch, I stream to YouTube, as 1080p, Elgato Gaming, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, slash Elgato Gaming. So yeah, let's move back to the front, and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna crack this bad boy open, as you can see, I've already opened it, and the box is kinda damaged, I'm sorry about that, but yeah, I kept this box for the longest time, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna open it right up, and I will see you once it's open. Okay, so this is what um, comes inside the box, like, as you can see, this thing right here, this is just a little sleeve that you pull it out, and yeah, I'm gonna put that over there, right here, this is like the computer, and this is what the Elgato software will look like, I will show you that once we get in, your skill immortalized, and then on the back, we just got random boring stuff on the side is nothing, and on the side is another picture of the HD60. And then right here, before we get into the actual Elgato and stuff, right here, this is Elgato Gaming. Slash, this is Elgato.com slash gaming slash download. That's how you download the stuff. And that's also how you get like tips and tricks and all that sort of stuff. 
download the Elgato Game Capture software to get started, and then Elgato Gaming, and we've got Facebook slash Elgato Gaming, YouTube slash Elgato, Elgato Gaming, and then Twitter slash Elgato Gaming. And then right here is where you have all your cords. Here, actually, I'm going to show you the actual thing. Hang on. Brush it off a little bit. Yeah, this is the Elgato itself. Uh, it's a really, really sleek and sexy device. As you can see, like right here, there's a line that goes to the middle of it. I don't know how good you can see that. But when you plug it into the computer, it actually does, in fact, light up, and it is really dang cool. So, yeah, right here, this is the Elgato. By the way, this Windows Vista machine is not what I'm going to be showing you the, H the Elgato HD60 on. So, this is HD60. Set that right there. And then right here is what it comes with. It comes with an HDMI cord. Uh, yeah, this is HDMI. As you can see, it's kind of short. It's, I don't know, it's probably two feet long. And right here is our super sexy and long uh, a USB to micro USB cord. That's how you, you plug this in. Here, I'll show you how it works. Um, if For a normal setup, not like mine, you take this USB cord and you plug it into the input. You plug it right on in. You plug it in right here, and then you take the micro USB, you plug it in, and then you plug it into the USB on this, and then you plug this in. You uh, you want to put, you want to plug the PlayStation into one end of the USB, and then plug the uh, the USB, no, the PlayStation or the Xbox into um one end of the HDMI, and then plug the other end into the input, and then you want to take the, then you want to get another HDMI cord. Plug it into the output and plug it into your television. And then right here is uh, the micro USB. You plug this into the Elgato and then you plug it into the computer. And that's how it's powered and that's how you use it. So yeah, uh, let's just go ahead and inspect the device. Yeah, this is what it comes with. Uh, it's really nice. It's really sleek. I really enjoy using it. But yeah, okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to jump into my laptop. I'll show you around some of the features. And then at the very end, I will be showing you how to... Um, how, how I set it up. I'll be showing you the sauce, uh, the system, and how some of it works. In fact, no, um, I'm going to jump cut, and I will be in my room, and I will show you how I set it all up, and then we'll jump cut into the system. So yeah, I will see you in a second, literally a microsecond. Bye-bye. Okay, here we are. We're right back in. We are inside my computer. As you can see, uh, the Elgato is fixing itself up. Um, yeah, so some of the settings that you want to have is you want to make sure that everything is all nice and set up for you. Uh, it's for some reason it's not going to go ahead and do. Only as you can see, I've got um, I've got enable flashback recording off. I've got uh, and then here and then the way that you want to set it up for um. The way that you want to set it up for, what's it called? You want, hang on, my splitter's being a stupid face. Stop that splitter. You're not allowed to do that splitter. Okay, good, there we go. Alright, now as you can see, it's going to come up here. Okay, now, as you can see, it's running kind of laggy. That's not, that's not how it normally runs. That's just because I'm recording. And I'm also got the Elgato up. Only well, the way that you want to set it up for a PlayStation on a lower end computer. Hang on. Only yeah, as you can see, it's glitching out. Only that's fine. Uh, you won't get that if you're just normally recording. But as you can see, you want to set it up to Xbox One. Only you want to turn it down off of 1080p. You want to turn it on the standard. Shut off 60 frames per second and turn it just below better. That's how you want to set it up for a PlayStation. And audio, you can leave that all the fine. You can you can mess around with that if you honestly need it to. But um, then... As you can see, then you click uh, in order to start recording. You can mess around with this; like you can have it automatically reduce um your uh your reduce sound, and then you can change the threshold, which is how how um I believe that's how much it is until it reduces the sound. As you can see, it is really glitching out, but uh that's only because I'm recording, like I said. But that's how much it'll uh, reduce, and then the attention uh, thingy. Is no the threshold is actually when it will reduce. It's like uh, 
uh, this many decibels at a uh, this many de if I'm talking at this many decibels and it will reduce and this thing right here this is how much it will reduce I prefer to keep that off because uh the way that you have to set it up in order to uh in order to do um what's it called in order to do things like uh, I don't know play uh record uh the voice of everybody else in the lobby as you can see my friend just came online in order to record the voice of everybody else inside of a lobby you have to have it playing through your tv and yeah so that's a thing and then um in order to start recording you click the commentary button and then you click the record button i recommend clicking the commentary button first because that starts it out so it doesn't actually start recording, but once you click commentary and then click record, then you can just start speaking right away rather than clicking uh rather than clicking capture and then commentary. So yeah. And we want to go into and then they've got a full on editing software. It's not nearly as good as like one that you'd get like Sony Vegas. Here I'm just gonna grab a random one and you can like you can cut it, you can do you can then share it and the way that you get all your videos out after you've already recorded is you export them through it so yeah uh... i'm gonna just gonna it's not gonna i'm not gonna do any editing but yeah that's pretty much it uh... so yeah that's about it for today thank you for watching if you liked it good job and i will see all you guys later i hope you have a great day Peace.